So as most of you probably already knows, the low frequencies go on the corners of the room usually. So you put the bass traps in the corners. But what I do is to actually to listen the track in the corner when it's when it's finished, just to check how the low frequencies sound. So let's give it a try. Hello friends, welcome back, what is up? This is an improvised video because I didn't plan to do it but yesterday, which was Friday night, I stayed home because of my voice. You can hear that, I have a cold. That's the sad part of the video. But I came up with uh, something interesting while jamming with my Beatstep Pro and my gear. It sounded good. And so I decided to share with you uh, the process from the point that where I'm now to a good point. Also today you can see uh, uh, that I moved the camera from that part to this part. So you can see the other side of my bedroom, of my studio. Sorry, this is my studio. I don't sleep here. I don't. I don't sleep there, I don't sleep there. So le let's talk a little bit about this track. I came out with the idea um, of a really minimal drum kit. Uh, all the drum samples are from a pack from Gold Baby. Gold Baby is a studio in New Zealand which uh, recorded samples from drum machines, analog drum machines. They send them through tape machines, so they sound really warm and fat. They are great. And then I choose a couple of the songs from Platz and the other synth here, which is the Akemis Taiko. Um, and I built the bass and the upper synth uh, of the track. But there's a lot more to do, so let's jump into it. <laughs> So maybe we should listen the track for a moment. Uh, here on the Beatstep Pro I have, uh, of course, three sequencer one, two, and three. The first one is uh, for controlling the drums, so it's linked to a, a drum rack uh, here on, on Ableton. So I'm controlling Ableton uh, through the MIDI that I send from the Beatstep Pro. I have all the samples here. Let me check with the headphones. <coughs> And also I have three vocal samples. They are from the same uh, producer or singer. I don't know, he's called Emmanuel or she's called Emmanuel. The vocal is from a female voice, but I don't know if it's the name of the singer or of the producer, or if the singer and the producer are, are the same, of course. Let's call it a woman. So she made a nice track, which is uh, kind of uh, popular here in my area. The samples that I used are not from that track, are from other two tracks. This is in Italian. This is called Uomo da Fari, which means uh, businessman. I don't think that I'm going to use this though. Find me in, a, find me in, a, find me in my room getting high on someone. And then I have uh, this track, this sequencer, which is controlling plots. I have the sub, the bass here, so. Okay, and this one is controlling the Akemi's Taiko, and I have the upper synth on it, so. And that's it, so the, all the sounds that you hear on this part 
are from the sequencer, are controlled by the sequencer. So I have nothing recorded on the DAW at the moment, but I'll have to record something because, uh, of course, uh, what came out from my modular system needs to be recorded recorded on the DAW because it's audio. Also, I want to show you how I patched the two sounds here on, my, on the modular system. So I have the sound from Platz, which is going inside of the filter because I wanted to cut some of the high frequencies of the bass. Also, I'm controlling the harmonics parameter with uh, the LFO coming out from Rampage. For the Achemis Tycho, I go out of the Achemis Tycho and I go inside the clouds. It's called a texture synthesizer. So what it does is to record small pieces of the sound that goes inside of it and then you can make it repeat the sound uh, you can you can obtain really weird sounds if i raise up the dry wet so this is the sound all wet i raised up the pitch by 12 semitones There's a little bit of reverb because there's an internal reverb. So what I want to do now is to add a sub bass with a sealant because I feel like this bass from Platz it's not enough to fill the sound spectrum of the track. And I want to add some pods in the background I want to try to do with uh, that sound with clouds. Now we're going to add this, our friend Sealength, which is this nice plugin here. We're starting from a sine wave. And I want a percussive sound. Something like this, a little bit of triangle wave. I want to add some note while the Platz bass is not playing because I don't want them to overlap. So, so we can add something in this spot here because here the bass is not the Platz bass is not playing. Try to add now uh, another kind of sub bass, uh, which is from my uh, presets uh, that I made. Okay. All right. Also, I want to try to record uh, a Wurlitzer, so some chords. I like it. Now I really need to record all this stuff in Ableton because, because I need some free MIDI channels. So, two, three, four. Doesn't sound really good. Mm, that's here's the problem. Better. Mm -hmm. So now we 
Um, I'm going to apply some effects because this uh, plugin has a lot of really nice reverbs. That's nice. Okay, so now um, I'm going to record another part. Could be me by uh, increasing the release time of the Academy Cycle. And then let's see if I can also increase the, the wet signal on the clouds. Let's see what I can do with just two hands. Two hours later. We were at the point where I was recording the chemist Tycho into the DAW. Two, three. Okay, so now I want to record a texture. Uh, I'll do it with the clouds. You have this piece of music that the freeze button record and it keep playing it in a loop. So you can, you can choose if you want to play the whole size of the loop or if you want to uh, do you know, repeat just one small slice of the piece of music and you can choose which position of the piece to repeat continuously repeat also the pitch control this is the density so how many times it's repeat and the blend allows you to decide the dry wet so how much dry signal and how much wet signal so let's check it with an example I like I like this part so let's see three thousand whoop who's later Two, three four I think now the track it's it's ready to do some arranging so the starting point I'm gonna take take out a lot of this stuff for example this this the clap I don't want the clap So now there are two things that I like to do. The first one is to find a texture because I don't like too much the, the texture that I did on clouds. Secondly, I want to find a, a percussions loop to glue together the drum loop because I feel there are some empty spaces. Maybe something like this. Okay, I'll try to delete some of the parts. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's interesting in the background. Okay, I like it. Now, now I feel it's okay. In my room getting high on some wine. In my room getting in my room in my room in my room getting high on some wine. In my room getting high on some So friends, I'll probably finish the track in the next days and I'll add it to the list of the tracks for a future EP. I really hope that by watching my workflow you had some ideas to work on in your next projects. If you like the video and you like the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe because it would really help to spread the content for other people. Of course, let me know in the comments what you think because I enjoy reading the comment and sharing ideas with you, which with you. Uh, and thanks for watching, of course, I really appreciate and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.